Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to troubleshoot DNS issues in an Active Directory domain controller. So if you're coming across this message that says naming information cannot be located because the specified domain either does not exist or cannot be contacted, contact your system administrator to verify that your domain is properly configured and is currently online. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu, type in control panel, best match, or come back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. Say your view by to category view and select network and internet on the left panel here. Then you want to select network and sharing center. Select your internet connection type. Should be a little hyperlink underneath the internet entry. Go ahead and left click on that. And you want to select Properties down at the bottom. And now you want to select Internet Protocol version 4, and then in parentheses TCP slash IPv4. Go ahead and select Properties. And then you want to select the Advanced button. Now select the WINS tab, the WINS tab. And there should be a setting that says NetBIOS setting. So you're going to have to go ahead and disable it. So go ahead and disable NetBIOS over TCP slash IPv4, and then select OK, and then OK again, and then close, and then close again. And then you would attempt to launch the Active Directory users and computers, snap in and see if the issue has been resolved at this point, which most likely it should have been, and hopefully I should have resolved the problem. One final thing we can attempt as well is to flash our DNS server cache and then reset the network adapter, which is basically just a WinSock reset command. So anyway, go ahead and open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match to come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, go ahead and type in IP config space forward slash flush DNS, flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on the keyboard. Should come back a Windows IP configuration successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to go ahead and type in NETSH space WINSOCK, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset, again exactly how you see it on my screen. Hit enter. Should come back with successfully reset the WINSOCK catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Proceed to close out of everything and then restart your computer. And there you go, guys. So hopefully that was able to help resolve your issue. And as always, thank you for watching. Do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.